the intermediate ICT subject we know that this logical operator is basically three types as we can see that is first one is uh, and or and not so three type of operator so we'll use that three type of operator in this uh, tutorial here and we'll learn this how we can apply this use it this actually it's work this logical operator so first of all we need to open here a script file so here I will open this script so after opening in script I will take some space here and now I will add a variable for this variable here I'm going to add a and is is equal to variable is equal to here I'm going to type that it is 40 years so then it will be close here so after closing that and take some more spaces and here we will apply for this if condition so here we will apply for this if condition if is so we'll copy this variable is so first here we are going to applying this and get and then we will apply this for this and get basically it will be run this statement if this two statement of condition of all condition need to be true then it will be run this so first of all i will tell you that what is true or false so as much we know that binary digit as we can see that binary digit have this two number that is zero and one and here is we can say as a zero equal to zero equal to false and one is equal to true so this is basic in the binary as we know that so i can shrink it from here so that it can be some happened in this javascript so i can make it in this here okay here i take this two line okay that's it this is basically binary we know that this false and true so this basically i have write it there here and now we'll apply this so let's copy this variable here and we will apply for this and get so if a variable that is is equal to is greater than or equal to around 2 here i'm going to equal to 20. so when this project condition is around to this age condition is around to 20 or equal to more than 20 or equal to 20 so it will be run this statement so here we will type this for this it will be run this statement so now we want to show that statement if this statement is true and this working fine so we will write make a print here so that is document dot write and we will print this data here so here i'm going to but if you want to show a message by using javascript so you need to inside of this double condition so here i'm going to make it here this is true so we have added there so now when we want to run this so let's run it here I'm going to open, run here and you can see this but this is showing from our binary this is showing from our this body tag so I need to comment it first okay so now let's save it and you can see this is true but this text is getting very small and it's showing on this left side and this top so I want to make it here in the center and this text I will make some stylish here so for this in this message tag we will add this one tag and this last one we will add a s1 close tag so now we need to copy here okay here is capital s okay that's it so now to copy this s1 tag and we will style for some this text we will submit some css here so here i will open this style file and then we will paste here this s1 and let's write this css and here we will set this font size increasing here i'm increasing that 5 rem and we'll make it the text align to center so this text will be center and so let's save it and you can see this text is center so you can see like this so if you wanted to make some more increasing so i want to make it in center like this so let's set some margin here margin top here i'm going to set it 20 percent and save it and you can see now it's looking like this and you can see this is a statement is here and you can see this statement is true and it was running as a basic statement is if condition so here now we will apply this and k and law operator that is so and operator basically we defined it is a double and so here you can see double and and then take one a space here and now we will set a set an is for this so here i'm going to is operator so it will be less than here i'm going to make it this less than equal to and it will be this image is i'm going to make it this less than this 40. this was a here is a 40 so i want to make it the less than is less than 40. so here i will add a value that is here i'm going to add a 30. 
so let's try this it will run or not so you can see this this statement is not running because we have this exact is is 40 we can take it but this is as is 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 40 so is 40 is greater than 30 but here we added that condition that is not greater than 40 so this statement this statement is not true this is wrong totally wrong and this is false so this the end gate the end operator that the condition is this all of this condition need to be true here so that you can see this condition is not true so it will not run so if we decrease here so 40 to 30 so it will be run it true you can see that this now this two condition and this this condition and this condition this both are true here so now you can see this end operator is run this here you can see this this is true so it was running this so now we'll go for this and operator is completed now we'll go for this or operator so for this or operator here we will add another variable so here i'm going to another variable and for this value will change here okay let's change this here i'm going to set it x and y x and y is equal to here i'm going to make it 20. so for this condition we can keep it as usual we have here or we can make it some other condition also now let's see that if we run this statement what it will be show on this and this one is basically here this is and get it was still showing because that x is not a having this but we need to change this value from here this variable will change this x and there another one is y and now let's save it you can see this statement is playing in this and get because this both statement are true here so when we apply here this the or get so that is or get this below this backspace button and you can see the shift plus backspace and make it the double pi here and now we'll set this now you can see this statement is running this or get basically its condition is needs to at least one statement need to be true here you can see this all the statement is true here basically not true true here you can see this all statement you can see here Okay, now we'll change this comparison operator for this here we have this x for this x value is 30 and this here i'm going to make it double equal is equal to x is equal to 30 and for this y is double is equal to 20 here so here we have 20 so when we save this you can see this statement is true it's showing because this all statement is true here but this or get the basic condition is here need to be only one condition is true so here this we have this y20 so i will change this value here y10 okay y10 let's save it and you can see still this condition is to playing that this statement is true here because we have one condition is true that is x variable is 30 it was true y is 20 we have but this exactly we have y variable is 10 still it was is playing here so if we check it here this using and get so let's type here and get so you can see it's not playing because there is one statement is false that is why statement is false here so it's not yeah, playing that statement so you can like do like this type of or get and now we'll go for this another operator that is not so we will remove from here to here and for this item we will apply here this not get basically is exclamation exclamation details here document dot write and here we can see x equal 30 here so now we are going to try and play here okay so now when we are going to try it here so let's see here it's not playing this statement this not get this not is not playing not operator is not paying any of type of a statement here okay when we are going to op applying that not operators in using the if condition if it's not play the statement so we can use here the directly we can apply here this console app, console and this we can directly if true or false we can define this by using that console here directly so i will remove this curl from start to end okay from end to start and here we will add this close tag and there you can rem we will remove this if and here we will type directly console and console dot log and when we are going to try it here now now let's save it here and we need to here this will expect mode on this development tools and here we will open here this the console okay here is console log here is console here and you can see this statement is playing here 
as you can see this statement is true it's false it's showing this not good is basically here this is the another function there is if you write here this true statement or false statement it every time it will be show you the false statement because not is never a valid number it's a zero zero never not is basically zero is mentioned as i say you that this false is basically zero binary code so it will be every time false if you add here not in this not operators like true or non true document this statement it will always play this false and you can see this when we are going to change this value here x variable here we are going to 28 so when you can see this statement is still false and where we are going to change from here to document is here i am going to type this 50 and it is still false so when we remove from here this not so it will still be false so when we add this correct value there is 20x so here we will be write type 20 and now it will be this true statement you can see its statement is true so here you can see like this type of logical operators you can use in javascript like this so basically here i'm going to tell you that again that is and is basically so all statement need to be true and this for this or need to be at least one statement need to be true and not for this not operators there is no nothing matter every condition if all statement is true or false it's always be show you that this data it will be update always you show you that is false statement this will not play any type of statement so hope you enjoy this video if you enjoy this video please like on this and share it with your friends and please subscribe and thanks for watching this video mm -hmm.